This is smart. It's smart. I'm sorry. So again, unlike Chicago, everybody else trying to move and position themselves and make themselves better. The Knicks like, no, no, wait a second. Let's just let's just bring this all the way back to Clownville as we often do. So it, it's because it's the Knicks, and I get no, it. No, it's because the it's Knicks. dumb, Mike. Well, those are usually one and the same. <laughs> it, it, because it's Phil, and by extension, James Dolan, because it's the Knicks, the Knicks have been so bad when it comes to management or mismanagement, as the case may be, until they made it impossible for people to objectively look at what they're doing or considering doing and look at it for what it is, which is actually be smart. That's why. Well, but ultimately, if some, like, it's not like they're saying, hey, we're giving Chris Stapps Porzingis away. Unlike Jimmy Butler with the Bulls, reportedly, I don't think, it doesn't sound like Phil is calling people up saying, hey, what do you give us for Porzingis? Anybody can be had for the right price. So if Boston is saying, we'll give, you three, yes. we'll give you three this year, and then we'll give you the Lakers slash Kings pick and Marcus Smart, I'm just, just spitballing here. They say they'll do that. Maybe it's, it might be in the Knicks' best interest to liquidate the one asset that they have because that one player, they struggle to build around him. You need numbers. You need, you need more lottery tickets than just Chris Stapps Porzingis. So it's okay to listen. There was one radio guy in Phoenix. I don't know how, how real this report is, but one radio guy in Phoenix said that the Knicks asked for Devin Booker in the fourth pick. That's a high price. For Porz even for Porzingis. So if that's where they're coming from, it's okay to listen, is it not? It's okay to listen, um, but it's hard to divorce what they're trying to do versus who's the one doing it. The, the whole point of the rebuild was to build around a player like Chris Stapps Porzingis, somebody who's young, who uh, you can seamlessly meld with other talent. The mellow, I mean, we know the mellow era is over with. That was the whole point. And so it just would feel ridiculous to me that two years in, that you're blowing it up again based off the fact that you messed it up the last two years. That's not on Chris Tapp Porzingis. That's I, on Phil Jackson. But I don't, think they're blow, I don't think they're looking to get rid of him. I think there's a difference, though. There's a subtle difference. It's one thing if they're saying, hey, we've got to trade him. But this time of year, it's just due diligence. This is, to me, this is due diligence that we found out about. I don't know of why the, people the, are the calling due diligence should, should start there. Well, Dude, who else Phil, would it start with? Who else would it? It needs to start with Phil Jackson, honestly. No, no, no. I'm like, saying if somebody's calling the Knicks, who are they calling about? Well, they could, obviously, they're calling about Porzingis, but what I'm saying is if, if you're trying to establish a plan, the plan should not be to get rid of the one young, talented player Nobody that you have. Nobody said that's the plan. Nobody said that's the plan. That shouldn't even be a Jamal, part of it. That I don't want to sell my notebook. house. I don't want to sell my car. I don't want to relinquish my job. But I'll listen if somebody knocks on my door and will, will overpay for my house to where I can flip it and buy two houses. <laughs> Okay, and get a, a summer house in the Hamptons or, or wherever, then I'll listen. I love my car. I love my car. I, <laughs> but, but if somebody wants to overpay for it, I'll listen. Chris, I love Chris. Look, who, wait, I know you're not preaching to me about the, 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 the qualities of the That's person. Your guy. That's my guy. Right. But if you love Josh Jackson enough to where you can get to three, let's say Boston did it, you can get to three and get Josh Jackson. You can get this kid, uh, Laurie Markinen, out of Arizona at eight and have another lottery pick next year. You need more picks even if it's to blow them. <laughs> <laughs> even if it's to blow them. And I get that we're talking about the Knicks, but you need more picks. So I get the logic. Maybe it's the fantasy football GMME.